Hello and welcome to Open Aperio 2022 and welcome to this short introduction to Opencast. My name is Olaf Schulte, I'm the current chair of the Opencast board and I'm about to explain to you what Opencast can do. Or rather, I'm going to explain to your kids what Opencast does. So basically, it helps you to record and live stream what happens in your classroom to your students. And because you probably have more than one classroom, Opencast helps you to orchestrate live streamings and recordings over a large number of classrooms and distribute these recordings and live streamings to students. And on top of that, people can also ingest videos from different sources into Opencast so that as a consequence, Opencast helps you to manage all academic video assets in your university or institution. If we look at Opencast adoption, it's fair to say that we don't really exactly know who is using Opencast because we don't have a technical registration process required to use Opencast. From a look at the community, we can say that uh, Opencast is strong in Europe, stronger than in North America, for example. It's pretty strong in German-speaking countries and it's very strong in Germany where a considerable number of universities are using Opencast. Uh, also, I should add, uh, from looking at the list, uh, India and China play an important role in usage as well. If we look at the releases, you can see a pretty regular schedule, which is not surprising because we have two major releases per year and we are currently working towards Opencast 12, which has been released throughout the last couple of days or will be released in the next couple of days, depending on when you watch this video. Finally, to look at the 2022 roadmap, we are very excited that Tubira will be uh, functional this year, a video portal for Opencast, not only because it's a video portal for Opencast, but also because it's the place where we can bring together a number of features and modules from Opencast. So the video portal will also be home to Opencast Studio, which is a web-based solution for you to produce your own videos and upload them to Opencast. Um, there's also an editor which allows you to edit the video and the metadata and the subtitles which might have been added to your video automatically. Other issues are high availability and security. And we're also pretty excited about the collaboration with Big Blue Button, which is an open source web conferencing system. And obviously the goal there is to integrate their recordings into Opencast so that you have all the academic content in one place for students to consume them from one place, which might be the Opencast video portal Tubira. That's it really for me. Uh, there are a number of URL you can head to in order to get more information on Opencast. Enjoy the conference and hope to talk to you soon. Bye.